Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, again, we're continuing this whole process, this plan of re reusing some content. This one, I, uh, we made a program for baptism prep called The Longing a bunch of years ago. So, you're going to see, like, quite a bit younger me. That's, I, it's all, I remember there's a comedian who said, Someone once showed him a picture and said, hey, this is a picture of me from when I was younger. And he said, every picture of you is a picture of you from when you were younger. <laughs> and so this is a video we made when I was younger. Of course it was. Um, but the whole point of it, of it is what happens when we get baptized? Like what happens when the Holy Spirit actually um, comes upon us? Is it, is it a covering? Is it, is it a, something we take on and take off again? Or is it something that transforms us? Is God's grace something, because God's presence in us, is that something that transforms us from within? And so I invite you to uh, check this out and just hopefully, here's this analogy, here's this image of what happens to us, what happens in us when God's Holy Spirit comes upon us. God bless. So, superheroes. Uh, one of the ways we can look at how we see humanity is through the lens of, of superheroes. So, the first way I think we can see human beings is like every one of us is like Superman or Wonder Woman. You know those characters. They are absolutely flawless. They are perfect. They are powerful. They're completely good. There's nothing wrong with them. And so, if we treat human beings like this, we think that the only thing holding us back from being uh, bulletproof or flying or being more powerful than a locomotive is some kind of economic system or political system. We just need more education, more opportunity. But we know this about us as human beings. We know that we are good, but we're also fallen. We know this about ourselves looking deeply inside ourselves or look at other people. We recognize that there is so much goodness, but there's also something broken inside of us. And so we're not perfect. We're not like that Superman or that Wonder Woman. We need help. So, maybe we just need to work harder, right? That seems to be what we keep trying to do. So, who is one person who has no superpowers on their own, but because they are so disciplined and because they train so much, because they work so hard, they're able to stand shoulder to shoulder with Superman? Obviously, Batman. That's his story, right? He has not, nothing on his own that gives him power, but he has trained himself and he has disciplined himself and he has worked so hard that he has made it possible for him to fight alongside and be essentially Superman's equal. Now, this is actually a, a heresy in the church that came up, it's called Pelagianism. There was a guy hundreds of years ago named Pelagius and he, his idea was this, was that human beings are, are good and fallen, but if you work hard enough, you can be just like Jesus. That you don't actually need Jesus' help, you just need him as a model. And with Jesus as the model, you can train yourself, and you can discipline yourself, and if you, you know, try hard enough, you're able to stand side by side with Jesus. Now, again, this is condemned as a heresy because we recognize that no matter how hard we try that, it's impossible. We need help from the outside. We actually need grace. And that's what grace does, right? Grace builds on the goodness of our humanity, elevates it, and perfects it. That what Jesus made possible, the Holy Spirit makes actual. So we need help from the outside. So what's an example of this? One, well, one example is, okay, I'm good but fallen. So maybe that grace comes, maybe the Holy Spirit comes and just covers us. This is a great example of like Tony Stark, in Iron Man, right? He's not much. I mean, he is a billionaire, genius, philanthropist, playboy. But in order to be a superhero, what does he do? He needs this suit, this help from the outside. When that suit covers him, he is unstoppable. He's incredibly powerful, but underneath the suit, he's still just Tony Stark. He's still just a normal guy. So that suit is simply a covering. It's a very cool covering, but it doesn't change who he is. Now, this is actually one theory of baptism that our, some of our Protestant brothers and sisters have, that, that baptism doesn't actually change you from inside, but it's simply a covering. In fact, Martin Luther, the founder of Lutheranism, he, he had an interesting phrase about this. He believed that while human beings were made good, the fall made us depraved. And all baptism did is it simply provided a covering over that depravity. In fact, Luther's famous phrase was that we are dunghills covered with snow. Now, the Catholic view of this is, is very different. It's, it's that, yes, while we're good and fallen, 
We're not depraved, but we're simply deprived of God's grace. And what baptism does is it transforms us from the inside out to make us God's sons and daughters. That it, it heals that original wound and gives us a new life. Not simply a covering, but a real transformation. So who might that be? Well, the only two superheroes to go. One could be uh, Billy Batson. If you know who Billy Batson is, he's kind of a random one. But he's a kid who, when he says the word Shazam, he becomes Captain Marvel. And if you've ever seen Captain Marvel, he looks basically just like Superman. He can fly like Superman. He is powerful. He has, he's invulnerable. He has all these abilities. And when he wants to go back to being Billy Batson, he just says Shazam again. So he is changed from the inside out. The problem, though, is when he wants to be Captain Marvel, he says the word Shazam. And when he wants to go back to his own life, he just says the word Shazam again. And too many of us Christians, that's how we live our Catholic faith. That sometimes in our walk as Catholics, we say, yeah, I want to live in with Christ's power. I want to live God's will. So we call in the name of Jesus and we receive the Holy Spirit. But we're not totally convinced that we always want to live as Christ followers. We're not totally convinced we always want to live God's will. And so we just kind of sometimes stop saying his name. And so we live our Christianity in this kind of on and off way, on again, off again Catholicism, where sometimes we put the hat of a Catholicism on and sometimes we just take it off. But the problem with that is that we live these dual identities, right? In some places, we want to be the Christian and in some places, we really don't want to be. And that just doesn't work. It just breaks down. So what is the best example of Catholic baptism? What's the best example of living that Catholic life? where we realize that, that we're good, but we're not powerful enough on our own to follow after Jesus, I think it's like this guy named Steve Rogers. If you know anything about the story of Captain America, you know that Steve Rogers, as a kid during World War II, he was a good kid, filled with this honor and nobility. He was filled with so many good things, but he was powerless to join the fight against the Nazis. But what happens is he's injected with this thing called the super soldier serum. And what that serum does is it takes everything good in Steve Rogers, builds on it, amplifies it, and perfects it. In fact, this is even in the movie that the guy who invents the serum, he says, it takes a good man and makes them great. This is exactly, exactly what baptism does. Because what we believe happens in baptism is it takes all that is good in a human being and makes it great. It takes all that's broken in a human being and makes it whole again. It takes all that's, that's weak in a human being and gives it the strength of God. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a scene uh, in the Avengers movies where Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Steve Rogers, Captain America, are having an argument. And at one point, Tony Stark turns to Steve Rogers and he says, everything special about you came out of a bottle. I remember watching that movie and thinking, oh man, that was low. But then I thought about it and thought, well, actually, that's true. Everything special in Steve Rogers. I mean, he was good, but fallen. Everything special about him came from that serum. And if you were to talk to, say, someone like Mother Teresa of Calcutta or St. John Paul the Great and say, you know, everything special about you came from the Holy Spirit. Everything special about you came from grace. They would look back at you as if you were crazy and say, and? Of course it did. Because they would know what we know. That human beings are good but fallen. And so we need, in order to live great lives, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. And baptism, this isn't magic and, and it's not a covering over of someone, but it's a transformation from the inside out where all that is good in a human being is elevated, it's amplified, it's perfected.